We all want to improve ourselves and our lives. So we go out, try different ways to improve our lives and maybe earn money to become successful. When success doesn't come as fast as we would like, we start to question what it is that we're doing wrong. What if I tell you that all we are lacking is the correct mindset? That our way to riches is actually through changing our mindset. Today, I'm going to talk about a book written by Napoleon Hill, where he discusses the 13 principles to thinking and growing rich. So the book is called Think and Grow Rich. And believe it or not, he actually spends 25 years researching these steps by collecting wisdom and knowledge from some of the richest people in America. Stay tuned because you are going to want to hear what they have to say. Welcome to Money Talk, where we discuss tips about making money. And for this video, we are going to talk about 13 steps to riches. But before we begin, don't forget to hit that like button, hit subscribe, and click that notification bell to receive updates and be the first to check out our latest videos. So, here we go. Step number one is desire. This is what Napoleon Hill refers to as a burning desire. Not a hope or wish, but rather a burning desire to obtain what you want. Going on to step number two is faith. No matter how intense your desire, if you don't have faith in what you're doing, it won't succeed. Faith is important. Don't worry if your faith isn't strong right now. Step three is all about building it. Step number three is auto-suggestion. Through auto-suggestion, you can actively feed your subconscious mind with thoughts of creativity. Remember that your subconscious mind really responds to emotionally charged thoughts. So when you read your list of what you want out loud in the morning and at night, read it with emotion and a sense of absolute certainty as if it had already occurred. Now, step number four is specialized knowledge. You don't become wealthy by learning to do many different things. Rather, you become wealthy by specializing in one thing. So what is your specialization? You gotta choose the one talent you want to learn and then master it. Use your network to compensate for your shortcomings and focus on what you're really good at. Step number five is imagination. Napoleon Hill is quoted as saying, it has been said that man can create anything which he can imagine. Consider everything that is in the world today. Computers, lava lamps, selfie sticks, etc. At one point, each of these things was created by a person using the 13 stages we're going through right now. But imagination is essential to achieving your goals. Step number six is organized planning. So suppose your objective is to run 26 miles in a marathon. You haven't been very active right now. Running 26 miles seem unachievable, but walking 10 minutes will get you closer to finishing that distance with each step. This is where organized planning comes in. Not for the major tasks you wish to do, but for the quick, matchable tasks. You may think and act large while achieving minor results. Step number seven is decision. So people who struggle financially are readily swayed by other people's ideas. You know, comments and suggestions, whether well-intentioned or not, from family and friends can sometimes hold you back. You must make your own decisions. The major difference between failed and successful people is that the failed person takes a long time to make a decision but changes their minds quickly while the successful person makes decisions quickly and change their minds extremely slowly burning your bridges to avoid returning to the side where you're taking one road and without altering your mind might sometimes be necessary for success in life now i know the topic gets more and more interesting from here but I want to know how these 13 steps to riches are going so far. Let me know in the comment section below so that everyone can know about it. Now, step number eight 
is persistence. The stronger your passion, the more probable it is that you'll stick with it. But once you make a choice and things get difficult, it's so simple to want to quit and choose a different path. If there is something you truly want to do, determine you're going to stick with it if you want to succeed. If you're going to do anything, stick with it through thick and thin, and you'll succeed eventually. Step number nine is the power of the mastermind. A mastermind is a group of people all trying to accomplish a certain goal. So basically, you put your minds together and can accomplish more than you can individually. You are able to draw on each other's strengths, and this makes the whole team stronger. And at step number 10 is an enthusiastic supporter. Have you ever heard it said that behind every great man is a great woman? Well, to make being successful more fulfilling, I can say that behind every fulfilled successful person is a loving and enthusiastic supporter. Life is just better when it's shared with someone you care about and you know has your back at all times. Cherish your spouse and your children. At step number 11 is the subconscious mind. The mind cannot be preoccupied with both positive and negative ideas at once. The one that will prevail is the one you decide to concentrate on more. You must control your thoughts so that the uplifting feelings dominate them. One of my favorite ways is using my enthusiasm to light up a friend and give them hope for a better future. Now, step number 12 is the brain. Our brains are powerful supercomputers. They have created airplanes, wireless communication, great ships, rockets into space, and so much more. Our minds and creativity are without limits. Think and try to imagine all that is possible tomorrow. Now the 13th and final step is the sixth sense. Hill makes the claim that the sixth sense cannot be adequately explained to someone who has not mastered the other principles of this philosophy. This cannot be contrasted, for such a person has neither knowledge nor experience of the sixth sense. There is no concrete instruction for this stage, but if you can master the previous twelve, this one will come to you naturally, in my opinion. So now that you know what they are, are you ready to get rich? Comment your answer down below so we can get the conversation going. If you enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up button, click subscribe, and hit that notification bell to receive updates on our latest videos. If you want to watch more videos, head on over to our channel to see more. See you!